So, I have an idea, and to be honest, I don't even know if it's gonna be possible. It's a little ambitious, it's a little crazy, but if it works, it'll be awesome. This is the automatic transmission that came out of the truck, and for my idea, I need the transfer case off of it. And I'll let you guess that on the manual transmission, I only need the transmission part of it. I do know that the housings are completely different and the midsections are not similar in the least. So I'm gonna guess that if I want this to happen, I'm going to be making a couple of my own parts. But to get started with the idea, I need to gut this bad boy and get the transfer case off of it. So we're just quickly gonna tear down the automatic transmission and I'll pull the other transfer case off of the other transmission and make a decision on whether or not my idea will or will not work. So the first thing to do is to pull this bad boy apart, get the transmission because I'm going to recycle most of it. I want a planetary gear set to sit on my desk and then the housings are going to be cut down into just raw material for future projects. So let's get started with this and I will check in with you in a little bit. All right, here is the automatic transmission. Here is the output shaft that goes into the transfer case. And then here is the parking brake shaft that moves in and out to engage the parking brake. Since I'm going to be using the manual transmission and have an emergency brake like the manual transmissions have, I'm not going to worry about that. We don't have to recreate that. Here is the stack up for the output shaft. Down at the bottom is the parking brake gear. And then this next stack of clutches is for the low and high gear option. There's a planetary in there. So when you lock the clutch together, it changes the planetary gear ratio and switches you from four wheel low to four wheel high. This is the clutch that attaches to the gear and chain set to drive the front wheel. When you put it into four wheel high, only this guy engages. Um, to make it a four-wheel drive. Um, since there is no differential between the two, it's a locked diff, so you can't do a four-wheel drive all the time. This little plate in the middle is the magic part. There are three holes in it. One is for four-wheel drive, one of them is to engage the four-wheel low, and then the other one is for return. So those are important features I need to worry about. Moving along, we have the valve body. Um, this is where the oil pressure comes in and then there's a lever down here that moves and that changes between two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and four-wheel low. This is the housing. Here is the transfer case. The other part of the clutch is on the opposite side and then you have your chain drive that goes to your front and this is your front. The really cool thing is on the cover of this, which is this part right here, there is a gyroter on the end of this shaft. So when you put it into four-wheel drive, it spins gyroter motor, which activates a cooler to help keep this part cool when it's being used. And then the last part is the cap that the prop shaft sticks out of, and it has the sensor for your wheel speed. So out of all of this stuff that I have laid out, to be able to do what I want to do, the only thing I have to recreate is the actual housing. So I'm going to clear all this off the table. I'm going to gut the automatic transmission just to be done with it, get it out of the way. And then we'll pull the manual transmission onto the table and start working on that. There's automatic transmission fluid everywhere and it's just gross. <laughs> all right, back to work.
has been a couple days and I think the last thing I did was tear apart the automatic transmission into its pieces and pulled out a planetary and gave the rest to a buddy so he can make weird trinkets out of that. I still have all the parts for the automatic transmissions transfer case. You can see part of it right here. Um, and <coughs> we're going to now move to the manual transmission and pull the transfer case off of this to get to the output shaft of the manual transmission and see if by chance that spline and this transmission will line up with the spline of the transfer case. So I'm gonna let the oil drip out of the manual transmission a little bit more, plug up the port and then support the middle and I believe I just have to remove the fasteners that hold this joint together and the transfer case comes apart. I'm not gonna get the transfer case on this if I don't have to. Hopefully it comes across clean. Then we can figure out this last bit of information for this harebrained idea. So let's get to it and figure out the last piece of the puzzle. Let me show you what I found out. Here is the back of the manual transmission and this is the front of the manual transfer case. And the manual transfer case has a male shaft with a female spline adapter that adapts to a male shaft on the inside of the transmission. It's kind of hard to see. It's about that far back and it's about one and a half inches of spline that I can grab onto and that is really good news because that means I can make a intermediate shaft that goes from the back of the manual transmission to the input of the automatic transfer case. On this side of the shaft it'll be external because this gear sits here in the transfer case and the shaft will slide on here and then on the other side I can do one of two things. I can pull this adapter off and use this adapter so I just have to make an external spline on that side or I can broach the other end of the shaft that will adapt to the shaft inside the manual transmission. I think there's a pretty large gap. I'll have to reassemble the transmission and we'll go over this again in the next video when I get more in depth about what I plan on doing. There is a lot of room, I think, in between the input shaft of the transfer case and the output shaft of the transmission. So, I don't know, it could be anywhere between two inches, it could be further, I'm not sure. But that allows me to put a gerotor pump on the front of the automatic transmission because as it's running in just two-wheel drive, I need to lubricate the oil that is not being used to actually engage the four-wheel high and four-wheel low. But we'll go over more details in that next video. There's a lot of loose ends that I need to tie together in my head that I need to go over and I'm going to compile them in some kind of short video to explain what in the world I'm thinking about doing. I mean, I've explained it now. I'm gonna put the automatic transfer case on the back of the manual transmission, but all the little caveats that I have to figure out, I'll go through those and how I plan on coming up with a solution for those. 
but I think this will actually work and I think it'll be awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and set the manual transfer case to the side because it's still good and I might need it if I mess this project up. So there's a lot of things that I need to figure out as far as this conversion goes. So next week we're going to dive into the manual transmission and start tearing it down, checking out all the internals, coming up with a list of things that I need to buy to put this back together and we'll get the transmission checked off the list of things that I need to rebuild for this project. So we're gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed watching. I know it was just a mishmash of me just taking things apart, but I found out a lot of really good information and I'm happy with the information I found. And with that, I just wanna say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this probably ridiculous idea. If you want to help the channel, there is a paragraph in the description below as well that will tell you what you can do to help support me. I've got a lot of things I need to think about to make sure that this will work, but I think I have a clear idea and I'm excited to share it with you. But until then, I hope you go out and do something fun, do something enjoyable, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.